Hey team, welcome back. So now that we are done with creating and reading from our database, now what we're gonna do is actually work on update and work on delete. Now for update, in this project, we're not gonna write one single line of code. And I'm gonna tell you why, right? Before we even, before I even show you, let me just go back to our database. Now you're gonna, you guys are gonna have to excuse my fan because I have all other things r running right now and it's going crazy as you guys can hear in the video. But I'm sure that that's not too distracting. Right now I'm just doing some other stuff actually for you folks. So I hope that this is not bothering anyone. So if we call, if we come to the database, I haven't restarted my server. And as you can see, we have three project tasks here. And we're gonna, what we're gonna try and do is actually update project task three. Now, what's gonna happen? <clears throat> if I try to update project task three, and I do this, what this is going to do is going to, is that it's going to create project task four. Thereby, we have a duplicate here, and this is not good. Now, the good, the good thing about JPA is that JPA is smart enough that if you have the, uh, the ID of a project task that actually exists, then it's going to know that, um, you know, okay, I'm just going to find this one here and then I'm just going to update it. And if I do that again, then actually returns project task three. And then if we come yeah. here and run this query again, now task three is updated and this is exactly how we're going to do things when we are doing the update on the react side we're just going to be passing the existing id and that's that's it that's all we're doing right so that takes care takes care of the update operation right i'm pretty sure you guys are like yeah that was nice that was uh short and sweet right that's what we want that's what we're going for here Right, so now we're gonna do the delete operations. And before we even move forward, you guys should really, really know what to do here. Like seriously, I'm not expecting anybody to be confused. Especially if you guys have the background that I'm expecting you guys to have. You guys should be more than able to do to knock this out on your own. Right? So pause the video and go do that on your own, alright? And when you're back, I'll probably just show you my solution. Alright. So you guys must be back with your solutions. I'm just gonna show you my, mine, that's it. All right, so here we're gonna go to the project task service and we're gonna say public void delete. And we're gonna pass it again the long ID. And we're just gonna say project task, project task and we're going to actually just use the method that we have right here in our service, which is find by ID, and all I'm gonna do is find by ID, which is this same method right here. Remember, don't repeat yourself when you don't have to, which is pretty much never. So we're gonna use that to find our project task, and then all we're gonna do is say project repository, delete, and we're gonna delete the project task. All right, nice and simple. Same thing is gonna happen um, here in the controller. It's going to be a very simple operation. We're going to use add delete mapping. And again, we're going to use the path variable of PTID, which is the project task ID. If I can type, obviously. All right. Um, then we're going to do public response entity, type generic. And we're going to say delete project task. And then we're going to pass it the path variable long and then PTID. I'm literally going to copy paste this because if there's one single thing that's not the same there, it's not going to work. All right. So then all we're going to do here is very, very simple. Remember this, uh, this here in the service, I think it's a void one. Yes, it is. So all we're going to do is uh, project task service delete. We're gonna pass it the PTID, the project task ID, and then we're, all we're gonna say is return new response entity of type string. Yeah, type string is fine. We're not doing much with this thing here, and then we're gonna say project task. 
<clears throat> project task deleted. That's all we need here, seriously. We don't need anything else because we don't use this to pass any, uh, say, confirmation to the front end. When things are gone, things are gone, that's it. So HTTP status of OK, all right? And then we're going to just restart the server. And if, if this all goes well, that's it. We're done with our back end so we can then go work on React, which I know is what you guys are really, what you guys really, really, really want to do. Okay, so we're, I'm just gonna run the query again, make sure that we don't have anything in our database. Our database is completely clean. We're gonna go then to Postman, if I can find it. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is I work, I'm just gonna delete this here and I'm just gonna create a few real quick. Um, I'm just gonna create them duplicate, I don't care. Right now, all we want to do is make sure that they go away. I'm just going to create a few here. Why not? And why don't we test everything? So right now we're testing the post. All right, that's good. Um, we know that it seems that we're creating things in the database. And if we go back to the database and we run the query again, you know, all seven were created. That's great. Then we want to get them all. And there it is. We have them all. Then we want to find by ID. Okay, four's there, seven's there, one is there. All right, so then we want to start deleting. And then let's go back to our database and make sure that everything is still there. And why don't we delete six? All right, and if we delete six, six here, it says project task deleted. If we go back to our database, it's gone. Then why don't we delete two? I'm just getting random numbers here, and it's gone. Why don't we do uh, five just for kicks and fives gone. Perfect guys. So this is basically it. We have the crowd operations for our project tasks. And now all we have to do is start wiring up our react application. I'll see you in the next section. Thank you.